Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about data profiling and data investigation approach. Data profiling is the process of examining, analyzing and creating useful summaries of data. The process yields a high level overview which aids in the discovery of data quality issues, risks and overall trends. Data profiling produces critical insights into data that companies can then leverage to their advantage. Data investigation approach. In this section, we will see what approach is used by Data Hub to investigate data. Under data profiling, we have multiple features like column statistics, null count, duplicate count, data volume history, data load history, keys and data relationship identification, patterns and business domains. So now we will see which of these features are supported by Data Hub and which are not. Now we will go to Data Hub. Here we can see that we have data sets. We will select the data set of our choice of our requirement. For example, I am selecting this customer data set. So this customer data set is coming from the Snowflake platform into Data Hub. We will analyze this data set through statistics. Under statistics, we will go to the latest section and here we can see the table statistics. Here table statistics shows us the number of rows that are present in this data set and the number of columns that are present in this data set. Now if we talk about the features, we have column statistics. Under column statistics, we have the name of the columns. For example, customer ID, first name, last name and more. Then we calculate the min, minimum, maximum, mean and median of the values in this column if they are numeric. Then moving on to the features, we have null count as a feature which is displayed here. Null count is the number of values in the column that are null and this shows the null percentage. We can see that under salutation there are 82 values that are null whereas under last name there are 0 values that are null. Talking about the distinct count. Distinct count is the total number of distinct values in a column. In customer ID, we have 6675 as distinct count. Under salutation, we have 6 and so on for each of the columns. We also have the distinct percentage. Moving on to sample values. Under sample values, here these columns we have sample values and here some of these columns are shown as masked. This is because these columns are PII or sensitive information columns. And thus their visibility is controlled using Snowflake data masking policy. We will now go to the features page. We have seen that column statistics, null count, distinct count, are present in Data Hub. Now we will discuss about data volume history and data load history. We will go to Data Hub. Under stats, we have the historical column. We will click on it. Here we have our profiling history for past. We will change. Here we can see our history tab. And here we have our profiling runs. We can change our profiling history by selecting any of the options available. This is the data load history and here under profiling runs it was done three times. 
if we click on any of the dates we will be able to see the history and all the data of the data set under table stats we have data volume history that is row count over time and column count over time here we can see that this is a straight line if there was a real life data set then data would get loaded every day example we would see 7000 rows on day 1 10000 rows on day 2 and so on so here we would see an increase or a dip in the data in this case we can see a straight line because the data hasn't been changed in the data set under column count over time if the number of columns is increased or decreased over a period of time only then we can see the change in this line so this is about data volume history here we can see the column starts we can see null count over time null percentage over time distinct count over time and distinct percentage over time this we can see with respect to each of the column in our data set these graphs explain variations in a column if you are interested in looking at how null information varies in a particular column or how distinct count information varies in a particular column so this was all about data load history and data volume history and how it can be viewed with the help of these graphs available in data hub moving on to data investigation approach here we have anomaly detection and lineage an anomaly detection is where the solution scans data sets collects statistics from this data and pays attention to the changes in the behavior of these statistics we'll go to data hub and here we can see if there is any change in this data using these graphs we can detect data load anomalies and we can track the data lineage with the help of this and track the imp and track their impact using the lineage available to us by data hub going to the data hub features we can see that under profiling column statistics null count duplicate or distinct count data volume history data load history are available in data hub whereas keys and data relationship identification patterns and business domains are not available in data under data investigation approach we have seen anomaly detection and lineage that are available in data hub hashmap megabytes